Enormous challenges are facing us globally and it is now time to inspire change. Empower citizens and transform lives. Since the key to success in this era of rapid technological evolution lies in innovation supported by a vibrant entrepreneurial ecosystem, the Indo-US Science and Technology Forum administers the US-India Science and Technology Endowment Fund, which is a competitive grants program that selects and supports financially promising joint US-India entrepreneurial initiatives that address the theme of commercializing technologies for societal impact. Over the past eight calls, the Endowment Fund has supported 32 groundbreaking bi-national projects, developing innovative solutions that are accessible, affordable and adaptable, and range across areas as diverse as water, agriculture, financial inclusion, affordable biomedical devices, diagnostic, preventive, curative measures, etc. These initiatives can originate from government, academic, non-governmental or commercial entities and any combination of these provided they focus on applied R&D to address an unmet need, incorporate a business plan and can demonstrate commercial viability and market potential of the concept. Grant in aid support is provided to such startup initiatives up to extent of 2.5 crore rupees or 400,000 US dollars. Projects supported by the Endowment Programme are now looking to make a difference and positively impact the lives of more people across the globe. Imagine a world where flowers don't bloom, where thoughts are not exchanged, where people don't have the right to choose. It's difficult to imagine a world without colours. It's difficult to imagine a world without DIC. Engaging in profitable economic activities to counter poverty is a challenge economists and planners have been grappling with in India. At the same time, meeting rising consumer demand for organic products is a major concern in North America and Europe. Not a magic wand though, but an aqua agricultural solution holds a mutually advantageous solution for both issues. When every little thing we used, from needles and nibs, tumblers and teacups, buttons and biscuits, paper, pencils and pens, bicycles and toys, were all either made in England, or made in Germany, or made in Japan. It's a story from those times, a story of the largest reservoir in pre-independent India and one of the largest of its kind in the world, known later as Krishna Rajasaga Dam. And all of this when the independence of India was not even peeping. It was still some 40 years away. For commoners, it defied imagination but not for a man called Sir Moksha Gundam Vishveshwaraya. In 1984, I will never forget one of my dreams. When a Shraddhalus took a joke from his own home and left him on this table for years and left him. छह साल बाद उनके बच्चे पैदा हुए मरते जीते 2009 तक साथ रह गए और अब हम सिर्फ पांच हैं घी साहब ने हम सभी को ट्रकाय पिथेकस घी कहा लेकिन टापू वाले इस नए घर में एक चाय वाले ने हमारे अलग अलग नाम रख दिए ओ गोविंदा निर्मली 
पूनम श्री देवी हेमा निर्मल वो आ गया देखिए वो उधर है वो देखो दो आया है देखो जाके बैठा बरसों पहले एक प्यार करने वाले ने मुझे गोविंदा कहा था मैंने जब उसकी तरफ प्यार से देखा तो उसे लगा मेरे माँ बाप ने मेरा नाम गोविंदा ही रखा था पांच बहन भाइयों में मैं सबसे बड़ा हूँ और अकेला नर हूँ एंड दिस इज इन द कोस्टल डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ उत्तर कन्नड़ा इन द साउथ वेस्टर्न स्टेट ऑफ कर्नाटका एट अ प्लेस कॉल्ड कायगा Among the rainforests here, a nuclear power plant works equally peacefully as the birds. We are trying to let you see what we saw. But wait, it rains in meters here and not in millimeters. A hornbill of lies though. Well, we have a chance here. A little bird played hide and seek with the camera immediately. Birds normally anywhere are choosy about where they live. They won't make their homes just about anywhere. Had they not liked the air about these nuclear power stations, you won't see them here. And this kingfisher fully agrees.